Hello boys and girls, AEW Freak 1127 here. Uh, this is not a rant, this is not really much more of anything than me talking about some exciting things happening in my life pretty soon. Um, and I just want to share them with you. I'm not here looking for advice, I'm not here looking to be uh, psychoanalyzed, I've got a therapist for that. Um, but there are a lot of exciting things coming forward in my life that I, you know, it, it maybe possibly I'll make some videos while I'm on the road. But um, in a couple of days time here, I will be back in Michigan. And the next day, June 29th, I will be at Blood and, AEW Blood and Guts, my first wrestling show in so many years. I'm going to be so excited. You may even be able to see me on TV. I got really good seats, pretty close. I'm not like hard camera side or anything, but I'm um, I'm 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 up, I'm, I'm towards the the end of the rampway leading towards the ring, just one row back from the front. So it's going to be oh I know there's so many injuries, but I'm just like oh I've I've been every, I've been living in Finland watching AEW on my TV for, for like the past two and a half years. So to be able to actually go there and experience it is going to be just... Mm. And then after that, I'm going to a series of Detroit Tigers games. I think when all is said and done, I will have gone to five. So I'm basically going to be in Detroit for, for, for most of my stay there. And then I plan on um, venturing westward to see some friends, some friends who have been very near and dear to me, despite, um, you know, the time and the distance. It will be good to catch up with them. I kind of overbooked. So I've got some time in Michigan that I still need to figure out, you know, like I got, I've, I've got time to kill, basically. And I had some plans, but they kind of fell through because of reasons and human beings being just just weird people that I'll never figure out for as long as I live uh but whatever um so yeah there's still some things that are up in the air and one of the things that that I am thinking of doing to fill my time um y'all know that I've I've always been really open with you um and and I kind of told myself when I made this channel here that I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep the personal life stuff to a bit of a minimum because I don't know how I felt about it in the end uh, last time. But on top of just the, 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 the feeling that I'm going to be going to a completely different country, I haven't been to the U.S. in three years. On top of the feeling that I'll be going to a country that I don't even recognize anymore because of what has been happening happening politically... And the the, the 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 shift in the culture and and all of the things. There is a loose end in my life that has always just been kind of dangling around in, in my head. And and I haven't attempted at all to tie it through therapy, of course, you know, talking about it with, with my therapist and um being just less depressed in general. Um has made me think about this a lot more lately. And then once the opportunity, this is basically kind of like story time here. So if, if you don't want to hear like a, a story about uh, a guy and his dad in prison, you feel free to, to vacate right now. But there is a loose end that, that, that I really, really, really feel like maybe I should attempt to tie up. Whether good comes out of it, whether nothing but bad and anxiety comes out of it, I feel like I need to try. I need to try because it's something that's on my mind this much has to be addressed. And if I get the chance to address it and put it behind me, I can at least tell myself that I tried. I can at least tell myself that I made the attempt, that I went there. And that's that. Whatever happens beyond that is is completely out of my control. And I'm totally okay with that. My dad, my father, who I have talked about on the Undertaker Freak channel, um, he is still incarcerated and probably will be for the rest of his life. In fact, definitely will be for the rest of his life. 
He's getting up there in years, he's getting up there in age, and I have talked to him a little bit through an email system called JPay. And our conversations ranged anywhere from infuriating because of all the lies and the things he denied and, 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 and never coming clean about the things that put him there in the first place, all the abuse, so on, so forth to really, really stunningly heartwarming once the seal of dishonesty was shattered and, you know, once, once he told me, whether by a genuine need to tell his son that he did do the things that I know actually happened, or because he just said these things just to keep some sort of connection going. I can't tell through email. I can't tell. I can only tell so much through words. I, I can't read body language. I, I, I can't. And despite not seeing my father since, you know, 2009, and that was in a courtroom, so I didn't really get a chance to interact with him. Uh, despite not seeing him for so long, I feel like I still know his tells. And I mean, he's, he's, he's a part of me. He is a part of my overall existence. He is inside me in many ways, and, and, and I have done a lot, a whole lot, a ton to exercise so much of the, the worst qualities, the patterned worst qualities that I picked up on from him for so many years. I've done a lot of work. I really am proud of myself. I don't care what anybody out there says based on things I've done in the past. The past is the past. And that's that, <laughs> you know, uh, I am very proud of myself. And I feel like if I had not made that progress, I would not even be thinking about actually going there and visiting him, seeing him face to face and having a chat. I don't even know what I would talk about. I would not even know where to begin because he's been behind bars for all these years. And meanwhile, I have been, I moved to Finland. <laughs> I'm in fucking Finland. And, 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 I've, and I've been to Estonia and I've been to Sweden and I've seen countries and I've seen things and done things that I never thought I would, I never thought possible. And he never thought would be possible because in his words, so many times I would amount to nothing. And you know, things like that. Things that drunk fathers say to, to their sons and daughters, of course. Drunk mothers, too. Uh, and do I rub it all in? Do I forgive? Do I just sit there and stare at him? I don't know. What I do know is just as much as I will, I, I, just as hard as it will be for me to recognize the United States four years later, it's going to be so much harder or just as hard to recognize him. How many years now? 13 years later. And to decipher and separate the bullshit from what may be genuine because I feel like I don't know how much um genuineness you can get from an email or how much you, you can you can ascertain you know little bits and pieces but yeah it, that that is one thing that I have decided that I may fill my time with and it, it, it might be a good story to tell later on. But foremost, I want to go there and have some fucking fun. I want to have fun. I want to watch baseball. And if that's lame, if that's boring, oh, he's he's going all this way just to see baseball for, and, 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 and you know, see, see a couple friends. If that's lame and that's boring, I guess it's just me. I'm lame. I'm boring. I'm vanilla. I'm 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 a simple guy. Something else I've come to to know and love about myself is that I'm 
When it comes to things that, to keep me entertained, to keep me busy, I'm a really simple guy. I don't need the thrills that some people chase, relentlessly chase to, to, to fill whatever hole that they still have here. I, 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 I don't need to gamble. I don't need to go and find a threesome or or try to do something that that whatever other like generic and 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 you know uh what's what's the right word uh cliche thing that that people who are still like in this this state of flux in their lives they oh i i need to do this i need to feel this it's like i can just go to fucking baseball games and I'll be sitting there, and and and, and I'll be I'll be listening to to Dan Dickerson and Jim Price on on the headset, or on the headphones while I'm watching, and I'm I'm gonna take in all the sights and the smells and the sounds. Baseball, I can't explain it in a way that would make sense to anybody who finds the game incredibly boring and tedious. But it's my favorite sport, and I love it, and I love the statistics and the deeper analysis and the saber metrics. And I'll, I'll probably even have my little card keeping track of the game and whatnot. But that, that's fine by me. I, I know for, for part of my trip, I will be staying at, at, at a hotel that's got a casino. Um, but I mostly got it because it was relatively cheap compared to some of the other hotels in the area. And I already felt like I was kind of breaking the bank. Um, but I'm excited overall. I, I I really am. It's 11 days. I don't know that I want to spend 11 days in Michigan. I don't know why I chose. Oh, I oh, I chose 11 days at first. I guess because, um, yeah, that there was somebody that I was going to see. But that's like totally immaterial now at this point. Absolutely immaterial. Um, but I I just I just feel really excited, and I know that there's going to be difficulties and bullshit summer travel. After you know the the the, the cooped upness of 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 COVID and and lockdowns. Well, there are no lockdowns here, but there are also at times no flights. Um, just really really excited. I I really am, and and I I hope that I can bring back some interesting stories to share for for all of you, and um, you know. I don't know. I guess part of me is still also wondering why I even chose Michigan besides the baseball games. I do know that next time I come to the States, it will be somewhere other than Michigan because there's only so much to see and do in Michigan. Maybe Seattle, maybe California, maybe, uh, you know, maybe I'll go on a storm chasing tour in Kansas because that's also something. I hope I get to see some good storms too while I'm in Michigan because they don't happen that often around here. Unless they're of the snow variety. Exciting times. Very exciting times indeed. In fact, right after I press the little stop button and upload this video, I have packing and I'm um, leaving for a hotel pretty soon closer to the airport so that I don't have to worry about you know, getting up really early to get on a train. And I mean, the, the, the airport will be right there. So I, I, I definitely also am very, very grateful that I had the privilege to do all of this. Um, that's not lost on me at all. Um, but it's happening, to quote Michael Scott. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> um, and I'm okay. Have a good day, folks. See, I told you that I, I didn't know what this video was going to be. It's just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited and, and, and maybe this will be a shock to some people's systems to see me happy and smiling and, you know. Um, that's all.